something wrong with me and I find something But Bagel Peanut butter and banana This shit I'm on forever baby Would you still wanna hold me down? She said I see you be right, wanna see you be happy What if I don't know how What happens when you get to the <clears throat> I got my nails done yesterday Nice and red I'm trying brekkie And then I've really got to run I've got like 10 minutes until I need to be out the door Basically, I got a line bike and I can't park it here. So, basically, I need to find my brother, get him to take my phone, take the bike back to where I'm allowed it, and then it starts in 15 minutes. Smile! The fam are here! The fam are here, we're about to go. I need to go to the start line and sort myself out a little bit, but Monty's just taking the line bike back, but the little one's here. We're about to go. Hi. Yeah. I'm a good video guy. Yes. Yeah. Did again. Do it all again. And after that second time, through the finish line. I hope you've got that. So did I. Another minute or two, and then we'll get you going, okay? Stay hard left as you go out. Runners on the way. Hard left as you head out, runners. Hard left. Hard left as you head out. Hard left as you head out. You're going to be coming back on your. Right, we just started. <laughs> <laughs> Down. Really good. I'm trying to just keep it slow in the first 5k. Just hit 5k. Feeling good. So it's there and back, it's 10k. So we've done the first like one quarter. And now we're heading back to the start. And then that, two times over. I'm ahead of my pace at the moment, so I'm conscious. I'm feeling good. But I'm conscious I probably need to slow it down a bit. Seeing as we're only one quarter in. Woo! Go, go, go! <laughs> Everybody's like spread out a bit now. So. And it feels like I'm just like running a normal run. Oh, have my first trial. I haven't put my airpods in yet, but I'm thinking I might wait till we get back to the start line and then put my airpods in for the second push. I've got hip pain in my left hip, but I'm not thinking about that or deeping that at all right now. It is what it is, we're running. Bloody half marathon. 7.5k in. The airpods are going in. I'm feeling a bit sick. So I'm just gonna put some tunes on and forget about it and enjoy the run. We've got a good playlist. But I think I might leave like the really fast stuff for like the last like 7k. I'm kind of doing it in like thirds now. So we're over the one third. <laughs> we're over the first third. Two to go. We just hit halfway. 10.6 down. Halfway. Good luck and I love you, Flo. Yeah, it's a message from us, Flo. So, I, I don't care. 
Okay, it's time to come here. Who else? He's running here now. Hey, Flo, lots of love. Hurry up. I'm waiting for you and I've got to go. Right, just hitting 14k. Going into the third third. I meant to say fur, we're going. Start breath. I'm going into my last third and I'm on lap three or four. So I basically got to get to the end here, turn around and go back. Currently, my average normal pace is seven minutes kilometer currently running at 615 and I've just held this up for 7k which oh my god I'm dead but like I am pushing oh, we're gonna keep this up now basically waiting to get to five and then it's pretty much a sprint again yeah. Yeah. And the whole fam were literally there cheering me, which was so nice. I literally could hear my dad <laughs> shouting from so far away. It actually made me so emotional. And then, whew, since then, I've literally just picked up the pace that we were going. Oh my God. Whew. Five to go. I am literally whew, running the fastest I've ever run. But now, I'm strong and capable and I'm going to fucking dig deep and run. It rained for a hot minute and now the sun's back out and I'm literally just running, feeling so grateful that I started this journey and that I've done the training and like I've literally trained for this and like it's mad to me that seven, eight months ago, last year I couldn't run literally for a minute. And I'm currently sprinting or close to the last 5k of my first ever half marathon. Ooh, let's go. Hey! Go, go, go! You're so close! Okay. I beat my heart. <laughs> go, so go! So close! Come on! Go, 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 go! as well as of one kilometer ago we're now at 16 oh, nearly 17 oh my god I can't talk this is the longest the longest I've ever run in my life before this it was 16k we're about to smash 21 right I'm gonna go and get to this finish line oh one kilometer left Ooh, it started tipping it down this has been the hardest part of the whole run in the last two. Oh, one to go. Woo, let's go. Woo, go Flay! Woo! We did it! Just going to pick up Iz from the station, but yeah, done. Did you like watching it? Yeah. yeah. Run it in two hours, 13. That's insane. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm done. I'll catch up for a full debrief later. We've just come to like Losteria to have food with the fam. And I'm gonna get changed because I'm like, so cold, but. No. We've got a feast. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. 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 Remember, I'm just staying in the car. Yes. <laughs> Look at this feast we've got. Izzy's made it. Izzy made the feast. Izzy yeah, made it for the food. <laughs> Izzy's there. She made it, not for the run, but for the food. She made it for the food. We cut the burrata. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Slice that Go on. There she goes. Rightfully, Just put it in Oh, oh. 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 o
Yeah. What is that? Giant squid. We've got some squid. It's actually octopus, I think. Yum. What is that? What's that? Mm. Huh? Yeah. What have we got? Oh, Ravioli, ricotta, and sunrise tomatoes. Lovely. Okay, what have we got? We have got a pili tomato with a banana. How do you buy it? A vegetariana. Vegetariana. Pizza. Can I try that bit of pizza? Nice. What have we got, Dad? What have you got? Seafood risotto. I can't see what it is. <sighs> I've literally just got home. What a day. I didn't really end it anywhere earlier. Um, but the fam have left. I've just made it back home. And that is a big goal ticked off. I'm very, very happy of myself. Um, I literally ran it like half an hour faster than I was supposed to well like I'm on a training plan I've been working towards running it at two hours 45 and I ran it in two hours 13 so I'm like so happy of myself I'm literally like dead now though I'm um gonna have a nap or maybe just go to bed I'll see um I'm struggling even to walk so um yeah but basically I think I got to like the first 7k so I kind of split it in my head into like three sets of seven so I did the first, a third, one third. I don't know why everything I'm trying to say is sounding confusing right now. Um, and then I was running it like faster than I thought I was going to be. And I was like conscious of like, oh my God, I need to slow down because even 6.45 for me is like fast for my average runs are like seven minute kilometers. So um, I was running it at like 6.20. And then after the first 7K, I was like, right, I'm just gonna see how like the next 7K go. And I was kind of taking it like every three kilometers in like, ago and I kept up the pace and then basically I just like after I got halfway I was like I am not stopping now so I basically just sprinted pretty much it felt like I was sprinting like literally the whole second half um my average pace was 619 and like my fastest kilometer I did was like 540 something and like these are all my splits my fastest one was 548 literally and my slowest one was 657 which was the first kilometer which was like everybody started like all together so it was really hard to like get going at the beginning um but very proud of myself i think it literally just like like you can literally do anything you put your mind to and that's really shows it to me because i did catch 5k three times before i completed it because i get halfway and i just found it too hard um I'll try and find it but like I literally remember there's a video of me like crying when I got home from running my first every tw ever 20 minutes I'm literally just like oh I've got tears and sweat in my eyes I just like I'm getting quite emotional because like I literally have always just said like oh I'm not a runner like I've got boobs like I can't do that like and one of my friends said to me at the beginning like why if you don't like running why are you trying to do it and i was like because i really want to push myself and i want to be able to do something right my phone story is just coming off but i was just saying like i just wanted to be able to complete something that i just never thought was possible for me and i did it i'm gonna go get this sweaty emotional mess in the shower actually i need to stretch but yeah go me and this isn't even obviously the end of Couch to 5K. I'm just like, it's just the longest I've ever run, but I guess this is gonna be happening most runs now because this is always gonna be the furthest I've ever run. And that was 20 minutes and I gotta get to 5K, which is gonna be 30, 40 minutes. So yeah. So, and the fact that I just ran out, ran for two hours and 13 minutes, like ran as well. Like I wasn't chilling. Like I probably just like ran that race um like so proud of myself but also just like if you try really hard with something and like I've shown up to every single run I think in my 11 week training plan I've only missed one run and that's because I I can't remember if I was ill or whatever oh no I think it was my brother's birthday like I just couldn't run but I've shown up to every other one and I've stuck to my plan and my goals and 
I just showed up and trained for it. So like this morning I just felt ready because I'd done the work. Um, but yeah, if you have never run, get into running because it's literally changed my life. And I don't think this is gonna be the last half marathon I ever do. But on that note, proud of myself, I've done it. And literally, woo. <laughs> In my head, the whole run, I was literally just going like, I was basically like playing this game where I like, I had to overtake every single person that I could get to. So even if there was a huge gap, like even if it took me like two kilometers to get to the next person, like I had to overtake them. Then if there was somebody else, I had to overtake them. So the whole race, I was just trying to overtake people. Um, and also my rule was nobody can overtake me. So I, that kept me like getting faster and getting faster. And the whole time I was running, it literally in my head, I was just being like, you can do this, you're amazing. Like literally like giving myself affirmations the whole run. And I was saying to like my family when we left, like there is nothing else in the world where you'd spend two hours cheering yourself on. Like it is the best thing for my mental health and like just physical health, everything in general that like I just spent that long then telling myself that I could do it, telling myself I was strong, telling myself I was capable. Like giving myself a pep talk for that long and basically like I literally in my head I was literally just the whole run being like fucking go go next person you've got this don't stop like and I ran and I did it and I'm gonna sign out and have a nap and crash <laughs> thanks for watching bye